Hi, and welcome back to my vegan cooking channel. Um, today, we are making something which might sound very boring to you, but that is going to be very delicious. I say easy because that's going to be easy, pretty cheap. Am I going to call this fun dish? Look what I got. This is actually from my friend's yard. And my other ingredients will include green pepper, a little bit of beet, onion, a few cloves of garlic, zucchini, which I also got from my uh, friend's yard, and tomato from the store, unfortunately. I don't have my yard yet, but I'm planning probably uh, next year to uh, plant something and it will be uh, fresh and delicious. So I will have to cut my spaghetti quash into two halves and it is a little hard. Just use your knife. Of course, you're gonna use your knife. Cut in and a half. You have to have a sharp knife. However, if you prefer to cut it in an easier way, first you will have to put your whole spaghetti as a squash in an oven until it get a little bit of softer. So, I don't know, I say 10, 15 minutes, but I will uh, challenge my, myself today and I will try to uh, cut it before I actually put it in my oven. So uh, let's do it. Okay. So I start from, wow, this is really tough. Okay. But that's okay. That's okay. Um, you do me steps. Oh, it's not really that bad as I thought. And make sure your um, spaghetti squash is not frozen or uh, you don't put it in a fridge because it's going to be harder and you, you want to avoid it. So, wow, this is actually a piece of cake. Wow, look at this. Wow, I'm impressed. You know what, I'm just worried that it's not going to be uh, uh, maybe to even halves, but, well, let's see. Okay. Okay, well, this is one, this one is not as bad as I thought uh, for cutting. Guess who is by me? My friend, Brody. Oh, she's trying to walk away from me. He check on me. He thinking, oh, mama, you're doing good. Everything is safe. You didn't, you know, put anything on fire. So I'm walking away. <laughs> Just kidding. I mean, I'm usually careful, but. Okay. Hey, look at this. Look at this. Wow, that was not really that bad as I thought. Here sometimes has a big eyes. Okay, that's um, what Polish people say. Hopefully you understood my joke. Okay, so, all right, I have two halves now. And I will come back to work on my spaghetti squash. Uh, um, but right now, I would like to um, chop my other ingredients. Okay. So I'm putting uh, my spaghetti uh, squash aside. 
in I will start uh, chop my zucchini okay. into um, small pieces Into those, uh, okay, pretty good. I'm not as well uh, in cutting, but this is not really a race, so you're doing your best. As I always say, the most important is the taste of the dish. And I know it's going to be delicious. Why? Because that is going to have a, a great ingredients in that. And it's going to be also vegan, so no animals are going to get hurt. And why to hurt them? If there are other options of uh, other options and ways of cooking. My little body is home today. I hope she would uh, film with me, but uh, tomorrow they're going to celebrate her fourth birthday. So she could not be with me, but it's okay. I see you tomorrow. Ready? Brody. Next, I will um, chop one half. You only need one half of a green onion. Let's find a fit an easy way. of deal with uh, my pepper before I actually um, uh, chop it. Okay. I said before I'm going to use just one half and other half I'm going to uh, use for, for a different dish. Okay. Now I'm going to use uh, a little bit of beet, just one fourth of it. I'm just go ahead and peel my beet. You really don't want skin. Why I'm using this? Because beets are very, very healthy. Uh, some people don't want to think about eating beets, but this is a great way of using that. Just combine with other ingredients and uh, put in, uh, in uh, your spaghetti squash. So uh, you're going to have a great, you're going to have very healthy ingredients and you won't even feel it. And uh, you know what? I also thinking that I'm not going to uh, be uh, only healthy, but will bring this um, beautiful color uh, into my uh, stuffing.
powder, they look nice and colorful and healthy, <laughs> very healthy. Next, I'm going to cry. You know why? Those are our pretty strong onions. Those also uh, came from uh, my friend's yard. So they tend to be stronger than uh, the ones from the store. I don't know why, perhaps they just need more um, organic. So I'm going to chop my onion now. That is going to bring very nice flavor into my um, dish. Ooh. I'm not kind after all. I just feel a little bit something in my eyes, but. <laughs> feel it. There's no tears yet, but I feel it. <laughs> but this is a good feeling. <laughs> Sometimes I feel that maybe it's, it's better to just cut onion first. So you enjoy it uh, to cut of your other ingredients. But that's okay. Okay. Now it's time for garlic uh, to be uh, chopped. And I love garlic. So I will use about uh, four cloves of it. Some people dislike garlic, so. Just go ahead and skip. Skip it. So I have about, I said um, five and a little bit. And again, you can skip garlic if you don't like it as much um, although I would I would recommend that because it's healthy and uh, fights all the skulls and you know, infections so um, that's the time of the year when everybody's getting sick so that is going to cure you okay so I'm going to chop it now I even like to um, sometimes just uh, chop my uh, garlic and, and put it on my bread. And it's good with the butter, a little bit of butter. tomato I'm going to use after everything is almost baked in the oven just so basic I'm going to top my spaghetti squash with tomato and a little bit of spinach but I will tell you more about this as we go so I will use medium um, tomato. You could also use um, grape tomatoes if you prefer. I use what I have at home, so always works. 
right? I hate wasting food, so I won't use anything else, you know, before my food disappears from the fridge. So I'll go ahead and transfer my one medium tomato onto a plate and um, put it aside and then use it when I need it. Now come back uh, to my squash and make sure um, all the seeds are out, which those seeds are very healthy, very good for you. So uh, you might want to save them and you can bake it in the oven and have it for snack. A little bit here. Ugh, a little slimy. All right. So now, so because I cut it a little bit unevenly, um, this half has definitely more of flesh than the other one, but. It doesn't really matter because after I bake it, I will remove it from each um, half and combine with my other ingredients. And so now I'm going to use a little bit of olive oil um, just to brush my, um, my spaghetti squash its top and bottom. So I'm going to um, flip that. and um, do a bottom first. Looks good. Now I'm going to bring uh, my baking pan closer to me and um, and flip them okay and again brush each of them with olive oil maybe a little bit of its size too in the case i missed that And you can uh, put your squash cut side down. So I'm going to flip them right now. Okay. Uh, they're a little oily, but this is totally fine because you don't want your squash be too dry. Now, I already preheated my oven uh, up to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. And I will put my squash inside for about, I say, no longer than 40 minutes. Let's do it. And meanwhile, I'm going to start sauteing my other ingredients, which is my veggies. So I pour in my um, pan about two tablespoons of olive oil. And I'm going to invite you to come up to the stove with me. Turn stove uh, to medium high. And I'm going to let oil warm up a little bit uh, before I put onions and garlic in there. Perfect. Onions and garlic are going in right now. Here comes my broccoli. It's okay, sweetie. It's okay. Everything will be fine. 
to my watch. <laughs> okay, thank you. I would let it saute for about um, two minutes before I add other ingredients, other veggies with it. I'm checking my onions and garlic and it is looking good. Uh, so I will go ahead and put my other ingredients, which again are uh, my veggies. Okay. I'm going to give it a little bit of stir. I won't use any salt and this one I probably mentioned before it's soy protein uh, seasoning which is uh, light sodium comparing to um, a regular uh, soy sauce which is a little bit also that also is going to bring me that extra nice flavor so i'm covering my veggies right now and let it saute until they nice and soft it's looking like that don't you agree with me that that very colorful mixture of vegetables i will let it cook a little bit longer. Let me check the mixture. At this point, I will add spice and one half cup of uh, nutritional yeast, which is going to bring um, this cheesy, nice flavor to my dish. And also, it's very, very healthy, very nutritious. My mixture totally changed its color right now. It's looking even more attractive <laughs> uh, right now. And um, smells amazing. So, I'm adding a little bit of red pepper just to taste. I say about one fourth, one fourth of teaspoon. Pepper to taste. And nutritional is again, one half of cup is going in for the better flavor. I'm going to give it a little stir. it's changing its color a little bit that's it it's all done it is time to uh, to transfer my mixture into a big bowl looks amazing and it smells great I just want to show you how it looks like now after um, sauteing it down. Is my body uh, mixture decrease his uh, capacity, but this is okay because remember we'll combine uh, it in a flash from. 
I get it, squash. And I also check uh, my squash is doing fine. And so look at the clock. I think another 15 minutes is going to be ready for take it out. However, I will have to uh, cool this down for about 10 minutes. All right, see you soon. Welcome back. I'm so impressed with my um, bake uh, spaghetti squash. Look how easy the skin is going to fall apart from the flesh. Wow. And I bake it about, as I said, um, close to uh, 40 minutes. Let me just show you uh, from the close up how that looks like. Beautiful looking squash. Now I'm going to separate flesh from the skin and I will keep the skin because I will. Uh, stuff it with my um, filling <clears throat> so I will uh, use this kind of spoon to scoop out uh, all the flesh from the skin I see a little bit of uh, still seeds in there it's not going to hurt anyone Sometimes too too hard to see. Hey. Okay. Wow. It's cooking out beautifully. Wow. If you see any seeds in it, just I mean there's no big deal. Just take it out. Look at this. May I see couple? Uh, again, there's no big deal. Put it in here. Also, I see a little bit more. Mm -hmm. okay. I hope you see it. Um, what I'm doing. I'm going to do my best to scoop up all the flesh. Still digging. Um, <laughs> make sure not to make a hole because I'm not going to work. <laughs> so far, so good. Ooh. Wow. Wow, this is great. I'm mean, so impressed. Wow. Okay. Okay, well, I make sure to leave a little bit of fresh because then it'll be a little bit more uh, uh, stronger. Okay, so I have one here. Separated so well for the skin. Remember, you still have to use the skin. Okay, so I'm going to uh, go ahead and do my next one. Okay. Wow. 
Okay, try to do it gently. Okay, let me just um, put this one on the side so I have more room to work on this one. Hmm. Okay, seems to be like uh, lots of work, but this is so easy to scoop it out. So no worries, you'll be just fine. Oh my God, make a hole. Okay. So again, be careful not to make a hole in it, okay? Because I think I just, just did a little bit. Um, I mean, it's still going to be usable. Okay. So you just scoop as much as possible, okay? If you get to the point that you think you're going to create hole in that, just go ahead and stop digging, okay? All right. Okay, so this is what I'm going to stop, okay? So, got this, all right? I put it aside until I combine flesh of my um, squash with my uh, previously um, prepared mixture. If there's like uh, big chunks of it, you just um, Use spoon if you want a prefer knife to uh, just um, get rid of the chunks before you combine it with other ingredients. That smells amazing. Go ahead and combine it right now. If you feel like your mixture needs a little bit of salt or extra spice, just go ahead and go for it. Uh, interesting uh, mixture and also has very unique texture as well. You always could eat a little bit of boiled black beans or any kind of bean just to bring a little bit more of um, protein in it but um, I won't because I already had enough of protein for the day today so there is no need for me to do it again if you notice something like this a little bit of seed there's no big deal. Just take it out. And then, again, bake it in the oven for your snack. It's so delicious and so healthy as well. Okay. You know what? Uh, this mixture uh, reminds me of a Polish dish which we call bigos, or um, I think um, in English that would be hunter stew, but I really hate to, to name that in this way. Just from to, for the respect to animals. So um, I will call her bigos. 
I will compare it to Bigos because it kind of looks like that. And this is still our a mixture of squash. Okay, and veggies. And maybe that would be another way of creating Bigos. Not just using a cabbage, but spaghetti squash. I will have to show you how they look like. It looks very encouraging, delicious, and smells amazing. What do you think? Does it um, remind you um, Polish beagles? Kind of looks like one. There's one more thing I have to do um, before putting it back in the oven. Yes, I will have to put it back in the oven. However, it's not going to stay for a long time. Just uh, turn to broil and uh, keep it for maybe seven minutes. So, I will also have to bring my uh, baking pan near me. So I will start with filling my first half. And um, like looking at the amount of my mixture, I probably have a little bit of leftovers, which makes me so happy because tomorrow I can have a little bit, just like that, I can eat a little bit uh, for breakfast and pretend that's my bigos. Okay, let's see what is going to happen. One is ready. I'm going to work on the second one. And it looks like I won't have any leftovers after all. But it's okay. I'm not going to cry about that. I always can make it um, another time. Oh. Wow. It's just like, um, just perfect, hey man, for both hats. Wow. Okay. Now, there's a very last step I have to do. I will have to add spinach. So I have about two cups of it, just bring in a little bit of more flavor to my dish and also uh, spinach is your calcium. So. It's always good to use it in your dish. Now, tomatoes. Tomatoes are also good for you. And you wanna create a healthy dish. because we want to stay healthy. Okay. Okay, so I have a juice created by tomatoes. I'm not going to discard that. I'm just going ahead and pour it over each half. Great. And I'm still going to use nutritional is so I basically am going to top my halves with it. And, um, if you feel like 
Uh, there's already a lot in a mixture. Just keep it. I like to have this extra cheesy flavor on top of my um, spaghetti mixture. You might um, uh, sprinkle each um, half with a, a vegan, uh, a vegan shredded cheese if you wanted to avoid this. Totally fine, totally up to you. Okay, just a little bit. And again, nutritional ease, it is very healthy addition to a vegan food. It says external starts are vitamin B12. They say add some savory, nutty flavor. Kind of cheesy flavor. Okay. All right, well, I'm going to let's see how that. Okay, I think my oven is ready. And uh, I will have to show you how that looks like before I put it in my oven. Looking amazing. Look at that. Looks how beautiful they are. Okay. It is time for my spaghetti squash to go in the oven. Uh, again, my oven uh, got, uh, got turned up to a broil. Um, it's going to stay there for four to six minutes until it begins to brown. Let's do it. Are you chicken, mama? I'm brothers. Are you checking on me? We are doing fine. Thank you for checking. But everything is safe. Thank you, my little friend. Look how beautiful they turn out. This is just the best meal I ever have been created from spaghetti squash it is again it's not boring healthy and it's going to be very tasty how do i know because let me tell you it is in front of me and it smells amazing and it is beautiful beautiful all the colors of the rainbow now it is the best time of the cooking show and i know it's going to be delicious okay oh no 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 not so fast christina i forgot something i forgot my sriracha sauce because i feel like yeah adding a little bit of that and if you don't like it, you don't have to do it. Or use another kind of, use something different, uh, another sauce or whatever you want to put on it. I know everybody has uh, his or her own um, and favorite sauces. I just feel like using a little bit of, of hot sauce. All right, but uh, before I, I use it, I'm going to put it in my dish because I don't know if everybody, uh, uh, each member of my family likes that this way, will like it this way. Okay, no more talking. I'm zipping up and going to taste my beautiful looking dish. Look, look at this. Look at all this. I still have to talk about this. I am so happy. I'm so excited. Mm. I wish you you were in the kitchen with me here and smell that beautiful looking dish. Wow, I cannot stop digging. I'm becoming really greedy here. 
Okay, that's enough. That's enough of that, Christina. I'm gonna share with other people. Okay, a little bit of sriracha sauce. And uh, uh, not too much because too spicy and I'm gonna be that good too. Yeah, I wanna be able to, to breathe. Okay. All right, let me see. Let me, let me taste that. Wow. Wow. So, so delicious. Hmm. I'm not saying this because I created that. But delicious. Meal. Wow. Again. You could easily create meals from from this one and why not to substitute uh, capusta in Polish is capusta in English uh, um, cabbage this is a substitute cabbage with, with for this one just to be a little bit more unique you still can add you know stuff in it. but this is maybe great idea for something i can create uh, some other day okay i'm still talking mm -hmm -hmm. the best that's the best mm. wow mm. so so good So, if you enjoy my recipe, please like, comment, and push the little red button to subscribe. And please go vegan for animals. They would appreciate that. Thanks for watching, everyone, and I see you next time in my next video. Bye.